All right, so here we're going to determine the light, the slope of a line given table values, graph, two points, equation, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we're given an equation in stand, uh, nope, slope intercept form. This is super easy. So y is equal to mx plus b. So that makes that our slope. Our slope is equal to 12, which gives us our answer choice, D. So that one was really easy. What is the slope of the line that passes through these two points? So now we need to use the slope formula. Slope formula is going to be Y minus Y over X minus X. So um, this is X, this is Y, this is X, this is Y. This is going to be 17 plus 11 because a minus and a minus make a positive over negative 9 minus 5. Now, uh, 17 plus 11 is going to give me uh, 28 uh, over negative 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's going to be 28 divided by 14. Let's see. Mm, I did something wrong here. Hold on. Let me go back, because it's not one of my answer choices, so I did, definitely did something wrong somewhere. So that's going to be 17 minus minus 11, that becomes plus, over negative 9 minus 5, 17 plus 11 gives me 28. Uh, minus this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 28 divided by 14. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. 28 divided by 14. I was putting in the buttons wrong. So that's going to give me my slope is equal to negative 2, which is our answer choice A. Helps when you put in the right numbers into the calculator. <laughs> Okay, so the slope of this line represented by the equation given. Be careful, this is in standard form. Do not confuse, get confused and think that that 5 next to the x is your slope. Now, one of the things that you can remember is your slope when it's in standard is going to be negative a over b. Or you can go ahead and convert this to slope-intercept form. I'm going to show you on this one. I'm just going ahead and keep it in this form. So this is going to be m is equal to negative b, negative a, which is 5, over negative 12. So that's going to eliminate negative divided by a negative becomes a positive. Um, that does not simplify further because 5 is a um, prime number. So that gives me my answer choice, j. Uh, the slope of a line passing through the points given. So just like the other one, so I'm going to say my slope. It's going to be equal to 12 minus 7 over negative 39 minus 26. 12 minus 7, that's going to give you... Oops. 5. Oh, you're not. There we go. And then minus. Uh, 39, 26. Give me 65. So that's going to be negative 65. So that's going to give me 5. 65 divided by 5, oops, 65 divided by 5 is 13. So 5 goes into itself one time, goes into that 13, so that's going to be equal to negative 1, 13, which gives me my answer choice A. Now another way you can check yourself is we can um, use the table, so X and Y, and say 39 and 12, and then 26 
and 7 and C and think about well to go from 12 to 7 I need to subtract 5 to go from 39 to 26 I need to add 65 okay and that would get, still give you the negative 5 over 65 because it's the change in y over the change in x uh, I'm gonna go do this one in the next video because this is gonna take a little bit longer